Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or watch out. If you're new to my channel or you're not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wish list or if everything's a total wash out. As far as updates go, I really don't have any new products. Um, I do have some on the way. Shop Miss A actually is sending me a little bit more PR, um, and I'm going to use those products in my upcoming full face of Shop Miss A, because there actually were a couple of products that I was missing for that but I'll be filming that in the next week or so so expect that coming fairly soon um but I think other than what I'm wearing on my lips today um I did do a little mini update on this in my last makeup basket I'll have it up in the cards but I just bought a mini Charlotte Tilbury lip kit which is way too expensive to be 100% quite honest and it came with the pillow talk lip liner and the pillow top lipstick so that's pillow top pillow talk <laughs> lipstick so that's what I'm wearing on my lips today my eyes is a combination of the Lila palette and the Kylie Cosmetics calm before the storm palette and it's I think my eyes came out really pretty okay and I think that's it let me scoot over and let's get started okay so first I actually got tagged in this new release on Instagram and this oh, if this is like ticking off all like the wrong boxes for me this is from Fenty and this is the new gloss bomb dip you can easily clip it on your clothes, belt, or wallet for peachy, nude, glossy lips in just a few clean, sanitized finger taps. Okay, first off, um, this is a travel product that you're meant to apply with your fingers for your lips. We're still in a pandemic. Who the hell is A, traveling enough that you're going to need this, and B, out and about, lifting their masks off and like using your fingers to dip in and apply? Who the fuck? I'm sorry, but who the hell is using this like no i don't i'm so sorry but i don't care who or what was thinking about this i don't care if you already had this queued up in the factory why what's wrong with a regular lip gloss what is not portable about a little mini lip gloss do we need to make that more portable <laughs> uh, and i just i personally i hate applying most things with my finger like i don't like using my hands for like if i can use a brush for it more often than not i'm using a brush for it but especially when i'm out of the house like even before the pandemic i would carry hand sanitizer if i went out to eat or was just out and about because the city is disgusting <laughs> but like to think about being out and about especially now and using my fingers to put a lip gloss on yeah this mm, this oof, this needs to go back to the drawing board like this was I think this is probably one of the like already probably could be one of the worst releases of 2021 like who who thought this was gonna be a good idea so Too Faced is coming out with new power plumping cream liquid lipsticks does anyone want a, a plumping dry li li liquid lipstick I mean it's supposed to be a cream finish I guess but still that doesn't I'm not a huge fan of like plumping glosses as it is, but like this does this doesn't. I'm not a fan. Also, how much are they? It doesn't say. Oh no, it does. Twenty five dollars. Absolutely not. We're not gonna do that. And another overpriced lipstick. This is a new one from Gucci. This is the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant Glow and Care lipstick. It is forty two dollars. Forty two dollars, and it. It looks, it looks ugly. I'm going to say it. It looks ugly. I don't like that packaging. The packaging looks like little, like, microbes, <laughs> doesn't it? Uh, hmm, hmm. Chunky boy, you going to come over here? No? You going to hang out over there? Love you. All right, so I have to talk about this. I think, I honestly can't remember if I brought it up, but I think I got tagged on this a bit ago. But this just, it's too much. Like if this had been like half the size, I would be really excited because I love this game. This is the NYX Tetris collection. But this palette, this palette is gigantic. Like, it's, it's just way too big. There's just too many shades in here. And I know that they're... The shades are kind of a hot mess because they're supposed to be like in the patterns of the blocks. Uh, but again, it's just, it's too big. This should have been half the size. Half the size and a little bit more cohesive of a color story and this could have been so good. 
it could have. I especially really like the the straight block with like the black and the silver kind of tones to it. Um, and then there is a there's an L-shaped block that has some shades that look really close to like my Lila palette, which would be very interesting. But just honestly, this thing looks like gigantic. And I just, I don't think I would ever use that. Like, where would I store it here? Where would it, where would it go? And they've got some other products. They got some liners, which, you know, I do really like NYX liners. I would probably use those liners. I already have a bunch of NYX liners in my basket already though. Um, and then the two lip kits, they're like, all right. So yeah, unfortunately, I'd, I'm not gonna get the palette because it's just it's just too big. Oh, whoa, what is that? Okay, so it looks like Rare Beauty is coming out with some new products, and this is a unique-ish looking eyeshadow palette. So this is the Discovery eyeshadow palette, True to Myself, seven shades, and then there's going to be an eye primer and a pore primer coming out. Hmm, I, you know what? I gotta admit, I don't know how I feel about that eyeshadow palette. Like, it looks very neutrally, and the shades themselves, I don't see any swatches, but the shades themselves are just kind of meh. But I don't know how I feel about the layout and those shapes. I don't know. Like, on the one side, I, like, I think it's kind of, like, unique and different. But on the other side, I'm like, okay, so if I would try and put a brush in here, how would it go? Is there going to be a lot of fallout? Are the shades going to mix together? Am I really going to be using that much of the shimmer shade in the middle? Hmm. I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? Let me know. Because I honestly, I have never seen a palette that looks like that one. All right, here's another expensive lip balm and another reminder that you do not have to spend $18 on chapstick. <laughs> original chapstick or original Blistex is just fine. Um, Strat Masse has great dollar balms and lip chapsticks. I, yeah, I just, I cringe forever internally when I see lip balms that are that expensive. They're just don't need to spend that could be a whole video idea like actually like things you do not need to spend exorbitant amounts of money on because there are so many great affordable options out there like things that they make expensive like just for shits and giggles because it's not needed like there are certain products where if you want to splurge like a foundation or a powder it, it'd be nice to spend a little bit extra splurge a bit get yourself something a little bit bougie but like no one really needs a bougie chapstick yeah <laughs> you know anyway Okay, so I'm not buying from Hourglass anymore, but I feel like they're finally getting on to like current trends when this should have been a while ago. They're coming out with blush sticks. There's only six shades and I'm sure they're gonna be expensive as hell. So I am not going to be buying these because Hourglass as a brand is nowhere near as inclusive of little words is nowhere near as inclusive as they should be. And you see it again with these blushes. There's only six shades. I can't they don't I don't see any swatches on actual skin tones, so I am curious as to how pigmented these actually are. So no, I'm gonna pass. Oh look, and another overpriced lip balm that you don't need. <laughs> this one's from Too Faced, and it's the Pillow Balm. And they're scented like banana, chocolate, and mango. Ugh, I'm just, mm. Yeah, rem reminder, you do not have to spend a lot of money for a chapstick. See, like here's something, this is what Fenty should stick to doing. These are um, new shades of the Gloss Balm Cream and they come in a kit, I think. It's a lip duo. These look cute. They're traditional packaging. I like the shades. I'd probably get them. Like, keep doing this. Why do you have to do that weird on the go finger thing in the middle of a pandemic? Elf is coming out with another new collab. I feel like they're getting up there with like ColourPop with the amount of collabs that they're doing. And this collab is with Jen Atkin. And um, give me a second to find out who this is. Founder her, oh, it's the cre the creator of Way. That's interesting. So technically it's like a, it's a brand CEO collabing with Elf. Okay, so like the Chipotle collab. So this is um, a whole little collection. It's got some eyeshadow palettes. Uh, there is some lip duos. There is a hair and brow pomade. There is a skin mist. There is a liner, no, two liners. Um, and then there's a kit that has a few of the products all together. I just wanted to say, looking at the packaging, I actually really like the packaging of the eyeshadow palettes. And I think they're eye and face palettes. Yeah, okay, so it's an eye and face palette because it's got like a quad of eyeshadows and then there are um, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter and there's two versions. There's a light 
Nope. Yeah, there's a light to medium and then a medium to deep. I kind of want to try those. If you, you know, I love face palettes. If you've been around here any amount of time. Uh, and I'm curious. Because so I haven't tried an e.l.f. face palette since those old, like, big, black, chunky, like, quads that I used to have. Remember those? So I'm curious. I'm curious. I want to see. But I just wanted to say right off the bat, I love the packaging of those. I think it looks very classy. It looks very sleek. Um, and the lip gloss, I think, looks really cute. The, the pencil liners, the double-ended ones, not a fan. I don't want to try those. But I would keep my eye out for those palettes. If I saw a palette in store, I'd probably pick it up. Tatcha is coming out with a new jumbo size of their cleanser. I've never used that cleanser, so I really can't say anything about it. Um, and they're coming out with a new powder brush. I honestly, I have, I have to say, I don't know if they have any other makeup or skincare brushes. I really don't know. But this brush, just the way that it's shaped, I don't think I would get any use out of it because my powder brushes, I prefer a, um, a more flat end so I can dip it in and like apply it like that. I don't really like the super rounded powder brushes, if that makes any sense. Um, and they show using it with the loose powder. So I've been using the loose powder. I'm actually wearing it today. To be honest, so far, I'm not really impressed for the price, especially. I will have a review video of that coming up, but so far, it's just meh. So I know I wouldn't be picking up this brush. Um, how much is it anyway? It's $88. That's insane. Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a new Mary Jane collection. And honestly, at this point, like we know that they're like, the weed company, right? I think it's a little, eh. To me, it, it seems like cheesy and corny. So not a huge fan of that. Um, the eyeshadow palette, it looks like an all shimmer palette. Just like what I can zoom in on the picture and see, it looks like all shimmers and they're neutrals. So personally, I'm not interested in those or the new product. They have glitter pots, which look just like the, those tart, uh, the Tarte eyeshadows in the little pots, it looks like exactly the same, like down to the component too. So uh, I'm not interested. Um, I do say I like the uh, Melt eyeshadow formula. Like I do have a couple of Melt palettes back here. They're, they're nice. But like this one, yeah, I I'm okay passing on this one. Okay, so this palette from Stila, it's honestly, it's already overpriced. I can tell you that. It's $36 for this, which is, mm. but part of me like, likes the grungy like this is like a grungy spring palette which is like calling out to me um i think it's mainly just like the gold and like the the, the grungy green really but it looks cute and i like the swatches it's giving me very uh natasha to know not natasha no, 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 very um abh subculture vibes but again for that price i wouldn't buy it for that price but i do like how uh, they went a little bit different they went a little bit grungy which i always appreciate um, but I wouldn't pay that much for it. What do you think? Ooh, I'm tempted. I am so tempted. Givenchy is coming out with the Prism Libre Blush. Okay, so I got the original Prism Libre, like the loose powder for under your eyes in PR through Influencer and loved it. I currently have the loose powder in my basket because I want to buy it during the next Sephora sale because I love it and I really do want to pick it up. Um... And they're coming out with a loose blush. I, oh, I want to try this. I do. I really want to try. It looks, the shades look beautiful. And so does the packaging. I have to say, the packaging looks cumbersome, but I actually like that it's it's just like the, um, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's the square, but it's got a circle opening, so it's cleaner. Yeah, literally, honestly, you could probably take the Fit Me powder. It's the same packaging, pretty much, between the, the Maybelline and the Givenchy. So I like the packaging. I think it looks cute. I want to try it. I want to try it. <laughs> um, I guess Makeup Revolution did a round two of their Friends collab. I never watched Friends. I think it's mainly because my name is Monica, and I got so many jokes about, oh, like the Monica from Friends. No, I, I did never watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded way saltier than like I meant it to, but I never watched the show. Um, and honestly, none of this really sticks out to me. Not interested. I, I am okay to pass. Huda Beauty came out with three more of the Obsession palettes, and they're all like brown neutrally. So there is the caramel, they, there is the caramel brown Obsessions, the toffee brown Obsessions, and the chocolate brown Obsessions. To be perfectly honest, I've got so many neutrals in my collection, I know I don't need these, but I have tried a few other Obsessions palettes, and I do really like the formula. So if you're looking for something neutrally like this for your collection i would say this the formula is fairly solid 
for me, I just I don't feel the need to add more <laughs> to my collection. But the the obsession palettes that I do have, I do really enjoy. All right, One Size Beauty is coming out with a new release that I honestly could not give a shit about because Patrick Star has been acting a damn fool. No longer has support. Oh, okay, this. Let's talk about this because I'm also torn on this and I think it's also, I just see that there are some grungy tones there also here. Okay, so Milani is coming out with the new Gilded Gateway collection. So it's an eyeshadow palette and I just clicked out and some shadow sticks. Uh, so the palette is actually kind of adorable. It is shaped like a little RV van kind of thing. And the shades themselves, they look interesting. I mean, interesting. It's basically like a neutral, slightly grungy, but it's not like really, really out there. Like it's very playing it safe, you know, but it's adorable. Like it looks hella cute and I kind of really want it. Um, those smudge sticks, I don't know. I've never tried those kind of sticks from Milani. I don't know if this is like brand new for them, but like I kind of really want that palette. <laughs> Isn't it cute? What do you think? I know some people are going to complain about the shape of the palette, but to be honest, like it's mostly rectangle. <laughs> what do you think? Oh boy. I want this. I know I don't need it, but I want it. This is from Clarity Cosmetics, and this is the Mermazing palette. Oh, that. That name could have been workshopped a little bit more. But look at this palette. That is stunning. That is that is beautiful. That is oh my god, those swatches. Oh. Um how much is it? It's 40. Okay, so 48. Okay, here's the thing. I love how that palette looks. I love the packaging. I love the swatches. I love the shades. 48 is a bit much. I don't think I would pay $48 for that though. Hmm. I should try to dupe that. Like that's something where I saw that color story and I was immediately inspired. So I don't know. I'm not really great at duping videos because I don't have, I'm not great at using single shadows. Um, but if you want to see me try to do a duping video, this is a palette that I would do it for because I don't see myself spending that much money just to buy this palette. So let me know if you want to see me probably badly attempt to do a duping the vibes video with that uh, palette. All right, ColourPop is coming out with another, I mean, I'm, this is old news by the time I finally get to including it in one of my B-Wows, but this was the Lizzie McGuire collection. I know everyone my age was like losing their shit over this. Did I love Lizzie McGuire? Absolutely. Did I have the movie and the soundtrack on repeat throughout my entire preteen years? Of course I did. But I'm just so jaded by ColourPop collections now. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a cute idea. It's gonna, sh it's gonna suck though. Or it's gonna be just like another collection or I'm never gonna be able to get my hands on it. I'm just immediately just like, talking myself out of it like before I even saw the collection like I saw it was gonna be Lizzie McGuire and they dropped it an hour later and I was immediately thinking like oh I'm not gonna get it already like I really don't care <laughs> gotta say the colors of the actual packaging and everything are on point but the shades themselves are so close to the Sailor Moon palette that it's really I personally I don't think not worth it I saw someone I, I'm not gonna say who it was but I saw someone on Instagram swatching the two palettes side by side and they said oh I thought they looked similar but then I swatched them and now I'm like oh they're so different you need both but like when we're looking at the same swatches because she was swatching the two palettes side by side and they looked so damn similar <laughs> you didn't you don't need both <laughs> so I've got the Sailor Moon palette it's probably the last thing I'm ever gonna buy from Colourpop to be frankly honest and I'm okay. I am still very salty over the fact that Disney Plus killed the Liz McGuire reboot. I wanted to see Liz McGuire in her 20s. Come on. I actually really want to try these. Um, I don't think these are going to be included in the Sephora sale because they're brand new, but I could be wrong. This is from Fenty and this is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So it's kind of like those cover effects drops that were all the rage, you know, a few years ago. Um, but these look really, really nice. Um, it is a, actually a bit cheaper than I thought it was going to be. It's only $29.50, which compared to the prices for her other foundations, I think is a little low. But this is really supposed to be like a mixing uh, medium. But it says you can, in a few drops, um, get quick everyday coverage in 25 shades. So I don't know. I feel like this could be more multitasking. Like you could use this to lighten other foundations, darken other foundations. I am pale and I have not gone outside in the sun in well over a year. So I could probably just use a lighter one to lighten things up. Um, but I want to try it out. 
Uh, let's end here. So Good Molecules is coming to Ulta Beauty. Now, good, I've heard decent things about Good Molecules. It seems to be another affordable skincare brand, kind of in the same vein as like The Ordinary, but I've never tried any of their products. Um, so I'm curious to see what actually comes to Ulta, what products are going to be bestsellers. If you've ever tried a Good Molecules, because I might pick up a couple of things if they're still affordable, let me know down below what you've tried and what you would recommend. Because I still, I think my skincare routine is still like, 80% the ordinary and I really do appreciate like I like their products. They're cheap. They're good. I like them um, But I don't know. I'm willing to mix it up for other affordable products I'm not gonna spend out of my nose for skincare products when I know that there are great affordable products out there But I've heard good molecules is around the same price point and still really good So I'm kind of curious so that is everything for this edition of the Be Wow. Let me know down below, like always, what you thought of these new releases. If I missed any products you want my opinion on, let me know down below in the comments or follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram page. I post daily looks, pen that palette sneak peek updates, and if you're looking for a quick kind of response, anything new, because I do pre-film my videos most of the time, that's where I'll be. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.